Hey YouTube, it's Kiki. Um, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different, as in I'm just going to tell a little story. Um, I'm just going to tell you a story about when I was obsessed with um, Gundam Wing. Okay, so I was in sixth grade. And I moved to new school, so I didn't have any friends. And then when I finally did make friends, let's just say this girl's name was Jill, okay? And um, Jill introduces me to anime. She introduces me to Sailor Moon. And then um, she also decided to tell me that, like, uh, Dragon Ball was anime and Pokemon was anime. Um, I hadn't ever really watched a lot of anime as a kid. I watched like Dragon Ball when there was nothing else on and I was one of those stupid little retards who hella got into Pokemon and I'm not even mad because I'm still one of those little retards who's hella into Pokemon. So anyways, um, she got me into Sailor Moon and, but it, like, I like Sailor Moon still, but it always wasn't, like, my jam. Like, I was like, eh, okay, whatever. And then, um, this is around the, this is like 2000, where Cartoon Network, Toonami, was showing, um, commercials for their new anime coming out, and they were gonna start airing Gundam Wing. Now, Jill, I remember, was telling me how she was, like, sending emails and, like, she just thought Gundam Wing was too violent and ridiculous and how her and her sister were trying to get um, Cartoon Network to not show it because it was just way too violent and it shouldn't be allowed, blah, 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 whatever. I didn't care. Gundam Wing, the first episode of Gundam Wing comes out. I watch it because I'm bored. I'm in love. So every day at 5.30, that was my jam. That I watch that shit every single fucking day. So... I did not have internet access at my house. I only had internet access when I would go visit my grandma, and that was maybe around holidays. And so I'm just dinking around on the computer, and I'm looking up stuff about Gundam Wing, and I, I discover fan fiction. And I, hardcore, was obsessed with fan fiction. Well, uh, oh, and by this point, um, Jill and Jill and we had another friend, we're just going to call her Kitty. Jill and Kitty, I also got them into Gundam Wing, and they were loving it. And um, so I find this fan fiction called The Why Effect. Um, as now, as an adult, I realize the why and the why effect was um, probably for Yaoi, but um, I didn't really learn what Yaoi was till way later. I was maybe um, uh, 13, maybe 12, not really sure. So anyways, um, oh yeah, I lost my train of thought. So um, I download, well not download, but I printed off the Y effect, and it's hilarious. And yeah, it's like, it's yaoi, but it's not even like, like, oh, they put my dick in your butt hole kind of yaoi. It's like, it's funny. It's a parody. From what I can remember, um, Hiro Yui is like, oh, I'm gonna fucking explode this Gundam or something. I don't know, make this Gundam explode or whatever. And he gets a concussion, and someone else gets a concussion too. I forget who. Maybe Troa? Maybe Chang? I can't remember. But, um, they get concussions and basically become gay, and, um, I remember most of the story is Duo trying to run away from Hiro, who is, like, I don't even remember, and I remember at one point in time, like, Hiro jumps out of the shower, like, I wish I could find it forever, like, oh man, I, I want to read it and just laugh at it, because I remember I thought it was so funny, and, uh, so if any of you guys find it, um, leave the link in the comments, I would much appreciate it, but, um, Oh my god, it was so funny. I showed it to my friends, and they thought it was funny, too. Okay, so let's fast forward till we're, like, um, 16, 17. Um, between this time, uh, I had moved away. I only went to school with Jill and Kitty for, like, one school year, and then I moved away, and, um... I didn't, you know, I didn't have a cell phone, and we didn't really talk on the internet, and, um... I randomly am get a phone call, like, maybe a year later from Jill, and she's like, oh, hi, blah, 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 and we would talk and stuff, and, uh, but that was it, and then, like, years later, I moved back, and I start going to, 
well, I'm already going to a high school, but then Katie joins my high school. And we're hanging out and blah, blah, blah. And then, um, now let me just add in the fact that Jill's mom always really, 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 really hated me. And I always felt like it was kind of for no reason because most of the time parents love me. But for some reason, Jill's mom just really hated my guts. So, anyways, um, uh, so... Katie and I are hanging out, and she decides to tell me how the year after I left, her and Jill really got into Yaoi, and, uh, now Katie's parents were very, very, very ca uh, Christian, and very strict, so she's telling me how Jill would print off Yaoi, like some crazy, like, dick and booty Yaoi, and would have, would give it to Kitty to read. Well, I guess one night, Kitty's parents caught her reading it, and she told me that she took full responsibility, but they were like, no, who printed this off? We know you didn't print it. So she was like, oh, well, Jill did, but I take full responsibility. So they called Jill's parents, and Jill apparently blames it all on me. Now, I literally have not, like, spoken to these to these people in, like, a year plus at this point. And, um, and it's just kind of ridiculous, because it's like, dude, what? Like, I guess I could be blamed for getting you into Yaoi, but not really because the yaoi i showed you wasn't even like dick and booty yaoi it was like like a parody it was making it was like a joke like and i talked to kitty about it and kitty was like yeah dude what jill jill and i were getting into was nothing like the you know what you showed us and blah 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 like yours was funny and i was like oh, okay whatever but like and i got kind of angry because i was like oh that's why jill's mom hates me but so anyways, you know, we're later on, we're hanging out, all three of us, and, um, I'm just like, hey, you know, bro, why don't you, why don't, like, what the fuck, why did you tell your mom? She's like, that never happened, and Kitty was like, yeah, it totally happened, like, and she's like, no, it didn't, so I still just kind of stay away from her, even as an adult still to this day, and I guess that's kind of petty, like, petty of me to do that, but... Not really, because I'm like, wow, dude, if you can't even own up to something you, like, blame me for, like, then, like, I don't know. And I told her, too, at the time, I was like, dude, I'm not gonna be mad, just own up to it and apologize. And she's like, no, and I'm like, whatever. So even now, like, I see her, I'm still, I'm cordial, but I'm still just like, whatever, dude, I'm not gonna be around and surround my people with liars. But yeah, that was, that's my little story about Yowie and Gundam Wing and backstabbing friends.